Staying with school-related news, as the tax-free holiday weekend comes to an end, many parents are trying to finish back-to-school shopping without putting a dent in their wallet. Six on your side, reporter Veronica Obey shares one way parents are finding help saving money before students are back in class. As students will soon be returning to school, parents may be dreading how much money it'll take to get them there. According to the National Retail Federation, between clothes, school supplies, and everything else a student may need, it will cost on average over $800, which is up from last year. Parents say events like the one Christ United Methodist Church held Sunday afternoon is helpful in a time of surging inflation. Every little bit helps. I mean, I think I think it's great, even if it's just a pencil and a piece of paper. The church's back-to-school bash gave parents a chance to get school supplies and even free haircuts. This is our largest crowd since COVID started. Uh, we did have one last year. We uh, had about 50. Uh, at this point, we've had uh, over 120 kids, I think, pass through. Whitney Copeland has four kids and agrees that inflation has added challenges when it comes to back-to-school shopping. So being able to have the church as a resource this year was even more beneficial. These two just are about to go to preschool so that it definitely helps out a lot especially with the bigger kids too it just helps out and it's all an effort senior pastor Mark Kilborn hopes will make things easier uh, having been a parent a few years ago um, you know this is something that's needed and inflation is only going to make it worse reporting in Knoxville Veronica Bay WATE 6 on your side Pastor Kilborn also mentioned if you are still in need of school supplies, other churches are holding similar events across our region. Still to